Monday the 30th of August today, Bank Holiday Monday. It's a nice Bank Holiday weather as you can see up here in the sky. It's, cloud, it's complete cloud cover. We had some uh, drizzle earlier. Where we are now, it's actually actually dry at the moment, so we just uh, can't bail. It's too wet or combine, so we're carting bales. And he's just chasing a few. I need three more bales. He's just chasing them up for this load. Hi guys, it's Tuesday afternoon, about quarter past two on the straw cart. I've got the train on behind me. I've got the phone on me, uh, iPad mount. But yeah, we had more drizzle like rain again this morning, so no uh, bailing or anything, combine or anything like that today. But in this uh, big field where there was the three of us bailers, Last last year, last year, wake up. Last, in the last week's video. Yeah, I'm now about to go out out of the skateway. And then along the road. But since I've got it on the on the on the iPad mount, I can actually film on the road. Because obviously I'm not holding it, am I? Before someone says I'm holding the phone on the road, I'm not holding the phone on the road. So yeah, and uh, in one of my videos, uh, yeah, some of the people who watched it, well, the night when uh, I worked, when we worked, uh, when we kept the sumo going all night, and uh, when my wife come out to uh, to uh, go on the sumo, no, we didn't leave the children, or abandon the children in the, in the house. My uh, my mum lives next door, so she just came round and slept at ours for the night so no we did not abandon the children there's no need to worry we, we don't do that sort of thing yeah we're, we're now on, we're now on the road a little narrow road i've got on the on the phone obviously i can't show you because i'm using the phone to record but we use the um because there's two of us we use um whatsapp live location so we can see where the other one is so we don't meet one another on a road like this because you can see how wide this road is and how big the tractor is. If we met someone on here, we'd be uh, we'd be rather stuck. It's not really easy to reverse with a big over straw on, even if you've got a camera on the back. So, right, there's the other trailer. Jonathan, can you hear me? Nathan's gone into the other field because I've got all the middies from that field plus uh, some Heston. So he's gone into the, the next field along where you did middies. Do you know how many you did in that field? Well, I'm pretty sure there'll be at least a load up there. So.
Right, Thursday morning now, I think it's about the 2nd of September today. We're just um, over here doing a bit of um, sumoing, putting this up for some, uh, for the beans. Right, if you look up the top here, I've got a, a lorry. Just got to go and uh, load him up with some, with some bales and teleporters. There, and that's the stack I'm going to take the straw from. So that's that's what I'm doing when I get to the top of the field here. Right, I've just loaded the lorry. Back on the two again. Here we are, it's still the same day, first the evening. It's about 10 minutes to 7. Still on the sumo, as you can see. Finished that field run, that's a 10 hectare. We're now in a 17 hectare field here. I've just got a few um, stats on this screen of what's going on. If I can hold it still enough. We're using 13, 14, 15, 16 litres a hectare of fuel. Next one down is Raider, that's the speed we're going, about 8.3 kilometres an hour. The next two down, the one that's important is the top one, work rate field average, that means I'm doing 1.7 hectares an hour, including the turning around on the headland and that. The bottom one is obviously overall, but obviously the bit you turn on the head you don't count. Next one down to 2.5, that's how much I've done on this field, 2.57 hectares. Bottom one's engine power, I'm using 83, 87% engine power. And down the right hand side, the top one's the time. Next one, fuel, our field average is how much fuel I'm using in the area an hour on average, obviously if you look at the fuel rate, that's 43.5 and that was only 32 because obviously when you're turning around you're not using as much fuel so that averages it out. That one's fuel area, field average, litres a hectare, so I'm averaging 19.4 litres a hectare. And then this one here, work control, that's got it in auto mode so as soon as I let it down it engages the area and then when you lift it up obviously it doesn't count and then the bottom one fuel use fuel that's how much fuel I've used 51.3 litres to do 2.64 hectares I've just turned around and now going uphill so if you look that coming down the hill the last bit was in the 80s now it's 95 96 percent because I've obviously going uphill it's harder work so if you look at the fuel economy that's a bit higher as well 21, 22, whereas coming down it was 15, 16, 17. I'm surprised how much difference that makes. But then you get this one over here, there's the average between the two. Right, well, it's now Friday morning, and the next morning I'm just putting the Sermahoo back on because I went back to get some fuel last night. Just come to check this hasn't moved. It was 22 centimeters last night. Yeah, it's ever so slightly longer. 22 and, a, 22 and a half. If you look here, you can see where it's just moved just a little bit. The half centimeters. I'll just have to tweak that a little bit shorter. There we go. That's now 22, so that's spot on. Right, let's go do some seamering. Yeah, we've got a bit of a bit of a problem down the bottom of this field here. There's a lot of um, bindweed. There's this bit right down the bottom here where all the field is green. That was um, the crop didn't come over here because the drains on this field don't exactly work very well down the bottom here. And because the um, because the crop didn't come up, obviously this green stuff and there's a really thick mat and it does block it up. You can see a couple of times along the bottom here, I've got a few few heaps of where it just has to pull it down, has to lift it out, and then go back because it actually builds up underneath and lifts the machine out the ground. So. Sun has finally made an appearance. It's about, I don't know, 9, 10 o'clock, what is the time now? Yeah. 5 past 10, the sun's finally made an appearance. But behind me, I don't know if you'll hear this, I'll just open the window. You hear the sea. Right, we've just finished this corner 
over here, sort of like a bit of a triangle. I left this one run here because this one goes straight up to the top of the field where the other one starts. So I can now go up here, go up to the top of the field, do the bigger bit I've got around the corner there. So, but the field is getting uh, more tough as you get along. I'm now, I'm now struggling to do six and a half k or seven k on there, and there's about six k on the on the radar. So yeah, it's rather tough down this corner. I've just, because I've got a hydraulic top link, I've checked that. That hasn't changed. No, it was 22 centimetres. The measure I've got, exactly the same as what it was. So I wonder if I'd accidentally caught the button and shortened it and put it in deeper. But no, that isn't the case. So it's obviously tough. It's not quite as tough up this top bit where I'm going now. But yeah, we're, we're and we've also dropped uh, dropped work rate from. 1.9 to 1.8 hectares average because obviously it's uh, it's uh, more tough so obviously I'm not going so fast and also the um, fuel air average is going up from 18.6 now to 19.1 so that proves it's more tough and also another thing I've noticed about this field is there's not too much um, regrowth from barley, which proves didn't put hardly any corn over the back of the combine. If you look, uh, where is the combine tracks? The combine is goes down there, down there. You can see a little bit of breeding and a little bit there. Sometimes the whole thing is completely covered, but there's hardly anything at all, which means we didn't put anything over the, or hardly anything over the back of the combine, which is good. Just looking at this, Pete. Yeah. I th think I said earlier about it, it's vibrating, there's something wrong in this part. It's shaking the whole thing, so we've just got a replacement PTO here. Right, we've just got to cut this PTO down to the right side. It's considerably too long. I've measured it against the odd one here, got it exactly the same length. So I'm then about to cut through that. Yeah, in the process of this problem with this PTO, which is not on here, these bolts here and that one there that's out came came loose and it ruined the thread inside so we've got one of these a thread cutter you just put it in the hole there like that that was screw it in cut the thread out and then stick a new stick the new bolts in finally on all the wires and pipes and everything, the PDO was all on now, so everything's all ready. So I'm now heading out to this bailer. Right, we've got the bailer on now, Friday, Friday evening now it is. It's about, I don't know, nine o'clock, half past nine, something like that. Yeah, the the PDO's running nice and, nice and still now, not shaking around like the previous one. It sounds, uh, well, it's a lot quieter than it was as well, so. But this field I'm on is incredibly rough. I mean, you probably can't, you can probably tell this uh, screen is a bit, I'm, I'm not exaggerating that at all, I'm just, just how rough it is. And this is the middle of the field, the head end is twice as bad. So on the head end, I couldn't get any more than about three and a half kilometers now because it was so rough. Here I'm going what, about seven, eight, and that's bad enough. Yeah, I've got this row and I've got this one, one row over here to do, and then I'll finish this field. And that, you, you, you see that lights over there? That's the, that's the other baler. It's on a couple fields across. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, Saturday afternoon, I'm bailing behind a, I don't know, 15, 20 foot cut. I've got uh, one more row left over there to do. I've just got, because I've kept all the bales down the bottom down here it tends to sometimes get a bit uh, a bit congested so I've somehow got to get through them two bales there but because this is the last row and I've got to end up at the bottom of the field I'm gonna go drive up the field doing nothing and come down bailing because I've got I'll, I'll either come up or go down not doing anything so it doesn't matter just gone seven in the evening getting across this field I've got 
after this one I've got four more full length rows and they get shorter. What I've got set up over here is it's basically um, this is the fuel economy litres a hectare. It's sort of lines, so I'm going up, up and down the field and uh, you can see where it's like different colours, greys and uh, greens and that, but basically because the hard bit is when it's pushing the plunger back, where it comes off, the fuel usage drops right down. Yeah, you can see the fuel going up and down, the fuel rate 21, 19, 31, 20. Right, I'm now on the last row of this field. Yeah, it's been quite a pleasant field to do, probably the best field I've done this year, as in it's nice and level, it's big rows, it's not so thick that I can't get it in the bay like I have had some problems with this 46 foot combine this year. Yeah, it's gone, it's gone quite well. I think I'll be all for today because the moisture is starting to get go up now. You see the sun, the sun has set over there, and uh, this time of year in September, it isn't, especially with the weather we've been having recently, because it's so borderline to doing it in the first place. Um, it isn't long when the sun sets, you have to stop. And we've act we have actually managed to do some combining today. We've done 20 acres a week before today, but yeah, so we've managed to do a, a little bit, of, a little bit of wheat. It's cutting at the moment. Just put some corn in the bin here, it goes on the elevator here. Down the chute, in there to this bin. 